Hey Zula16, my name is Taylor Denton and I am from Memphis, Tennessee, which is about six hours from Xavier. I'm going to be a little, pretty good minute from home. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be homesick, but I am the only child, so it should be interesting. I, but I'm ready for something new, different environment, new culture, new food, new people new music i'm just ready to like experience it all that's probably why i'm so excited because i've lived in Memphis all my life and it's been pretty boring like wake up do the same thing every day <laughs> uh we have no beaches no amusement parks it's just what you make it um i graduated from Memphis central high school with honors student population was about 1700 so not not big but not small uh, my graduating class was about 450 uh, I'm 17 but I'm turning 18 this July 14th Saturday I'm really excited about it but then again I'm like hey a year older you're wiser comes with headaches heartaches all of that so yeah um, high school pretty good student uh, all honors classes, two APs, uh, never had below a 4.0 GPA. Uh, trying to see what else to talk about because I really don't know. I feel like I should have wrote down a script or something because I don't want my video to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short. I'm going to try and stop at like six minutes, and right now I'm at like 151, and I don't even remember what I just talked about. But anyways, uh, I'm, I'm a really cool, fun, laid-back, chill person, uh, don't like drama, I'm quiet, I don't even know if I know how to get loud, I know how to argue, but I would rather not, um, I just, I just like to be chill and cool, like, all of that ruckus and all that, it's not for me, and, um, I hope that you guys feel the same way. Uh, don't step on my toes. I won't step on yours. Like, that's just the way it should be. Um, I like to shop, listen to music, talk on the phone, text, FaceTime, tweet, whatever teenagers do. I like to do it. Except for smoking and drinking. Not that big on my list. But if you do it, hey, do you smoke that good, drink that good, like, if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't do it like, hey, I'm just doing it to be doing it. I don't know. I don't understand it. Like, why would you do something like that just to do it? But, yeah, live above the influence. Stay above it, and you'll be fine. But if you have to do it, then it's just do what you have to do, but don't try and bring other people into it. Um, what else? I'm majoring in chemistry pre-pharmacy. I'm really interested to see how this goes. I'm interested in pharmacy, and I just want to make it be successful. Um, this summer, I've been chilling. I wish I could say that. Actually, uh, I did an internship with a dentist for about five weeks. It just ended last week. Uh, I got to help. I did a lot of receptionist work, seeing how it ran, like insurance and stuff. And then I got to help him clean patients' teeth, which was really cool. And uh, he told me I had the demeanor for it. And, I mean, the teeth, it was actually pretty cool. So, I don't know if I'm going to switch over to dentistry. But right now, it's pharmacy, so we're just going to stick with that. Um, let's see, what else? So, now I'm starting a math class at the community college in Memphis. Um, so, I'll be doing that till about the first week in August. So, just trying to get myself ready for the fall. Um, let's see, what else to talk about? I, I really don't know. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to put this video up. But if I do, I'll probably put up another one because I just, I don't know what to talk about right now. Um, the dorms. I think that's probably going to be my hardest thing is the dorms. Like, I've never had to just, like, share stuff, especially, like, a bathroom. Like, my bathroom has always been my bathroom unless, like, cousins come over and stay. But it's always been my bathroom and sharing the bathroom with, like, a whole bunch of other girls is just 
it's gonna be something else like if you see some if you do something and you see that it's wrong that nobody else is gonna want to pick it up or you're not gonna want to pick up somebody else's then you should just do the right thing and get your stuff like I know dudes are gross, but girls, like, we have to deal with some other things, and you just need to take handle your business and um, take care of it because KD is not the Hilton. KD is pound the struggle. Uh, I stayed there. Well, I toured it in March, and I got to see how it looked when people were actually staying there. Um... Every floor seemed like it was cool. Six floors, like the penthouse. First floor, I stayed there for Lion Yap weekend, and it was actually nice. Like, first floor is actually cool. Um, hot water in the bathroom might not be up to par, but, hey, you can go to another floor. You just don't have to travel. But um, I just really want to know why they do freshmen like that. But then upper class may have the nice co-ed dorms, and, like, I don't know. But, hey, we'll make it work because I know you guys feel the same way about it so um now i'm at six minutes and 21 23 seconds no i'm not gonna make the time i wanted to but uh relationship status boys i'm not boy crazy uh i'm in a relationship currently so status is taken but we're not going to the same college he's going to a college in tennessee and I'm going to Xavier, so I really don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't. I've never done long distance. I mean, the longest distance I've done is talking to a boy that went to another high school in the same city as me. So um, I'm gonna have to like deal with that, and I'm gonna need somebody to like give me some some words of wisdom because I don't know what to do about that, but. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have time to be like the affectionate person that I am come fall because I'm going to be in those books like affection and all of that can come after I even got my degree and all of that stuff. So I'm just going to have to see but right now I'm in a relationship and I am happy. Um, let's see why I chose Xavier of course the pharmacy program and his reputation. For the longest, I thought I was going to go to Spelman, Howard, Clark, Atlanta, Oglethorpe. I thought I was going to go to one of those, but I ended up going to Xavier, and I'm happy about my decision. I've always wanted to go to HBCU since I was a little girl. Like, I've heard there's no experience like it, and I'm really, just really excited about it, and I can't wait. Um, my iPhone keeps going off. I love my iPhone. I love my iPad. I love technology. Like, before pharmacy, I thought I was going to do something with technology, computer engineering to be specific. Um, let's see, what else? Um, no, I'm not on a full ride, but I do have some scholarship money. And at Lane Yap Weekend, I won my tuition free in the spring. So that was really exciting. Um, Lane Yap Weekend was cool. Shout out to everybody who was there. I wish I could have. Talk to more people, but I did meet a couple of people. For example, I met my newfound best friend. I call him Winnie. Uh, his name is Jeremiah. Um, his Twitter name is Ed Dream Deferred. He's really cool, and I love him. We talk a lot. Um, shout out to my roomie, Ed Tajiria. She's really cool, too. Can't wait to see her in the fall. And shout out to Justin, Vicky, my... Um, Chicago friend. He calls me rude as Taylor and says that I have an accent which I do not hear. So therefore I do not have one. Um but yeah, I'm just ready to experience everything and meet you guys in the fall. Um if you have any questions or just want to get to know me more, hit me up at underscore Tay Danielle underscore on Twitter and I'll follow you back and we can get to know each other. So can't wait to see you guys. It's you.